Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be organizing Caper Europe, designed by Unai Rubio and published by Keymaster Games. This is a fully sleeved copy of the retail edition of the game with no lid lift that is organized to get gameplay started as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure that you do. It is the best way to help us grow. Let's get started organizing Caper Europe. Before we begin, there are two things I want to talk about. First off, why we have the retail edition of the game. The retail edition of the game comes with all of the content and is readily available, and you can purchase the metal coins that came in the Mastermind Edition as an add-on, which is what we've done here. The Mastermind Edition comes with a custom insert, a slipcase, as well as pre-sleeved cards already in the package. Seeing as there's no major gameplay differences, and there are sleeve brands as well as the insert organization methods that I prefer, we went ahead and got the retail edition. The next thing I want to talk about is the insert that comes in the retail edition. We've gone ahead and removed it, and the main reason here is because it doesn't fit sleeved cards. So with card sleeves that we use are the standard American Game Genic. You can also use the Monster Board Game sleeves, any standard American size will do. I'll leave a link in the description below for the sleeves that we use. All that being said, let's dive into the box. Let's lift the lid here, and you'll see that we have the rulebook for the game drapes on top. Underneath the rulebook, we have our components in two distinct areas. In our bottom section here, we have all of the tokens that you'll be populating the board with. You'll go ahead and place them onto their appropriate trackers and the turn order sequence. We've got a silica gel packet in here for freshness, and then we have the cards for the game. We have three different types of cards, starting with our green gear cards, like so. You'll be putting these on your different thieves, which have the white bag here. You'll have a set of cards that are standard that you'll be using in every game, and there's no symbol in the corner here. We'll talk about more about location-specific cards. And lastly, we have the different pink cards here, which represent the different sides that you'll be stealing from. As you can see, there are these little lines that indicate separations in the card stacks, and these indicate different locations that you're going to be doing your high set. Before the game begins, you're going to indicate one of these separations. You'll take out that specific location and then leave the rest in the box. Each location is going to have a difficulty rating, as well as some ability on the back of the card that's going to be found inside of these additional cards. These cards have all the same backs as your core cards, and you'll just shuffle them into their respective decks, and then you'll have all of these new effects that you get to play with. In addition, when you're cleaning up at the end of the game, in the bottom left corner here, you have the icon that shows that they're from this specific location if you're ready to move on to a different one. We'll take out these cards for now, but normally you're going to just leave them in the box. The next component you'll see are all of the metal coins for the game. They actually fit in the original insert for the game, and we've trimmed it here so it becomes a tray that just plays like so. The cards keep it snug because the box is so small and they're not going to go flying around. You'll simply place this on the side of the board. Up next, we have a microfiber random draw bag. We actually have these from the BGG store. I love the way that they feel and you use them and you just need to draw and shuffle random tokens and place them into appropriate spots. And in this one, they work perfectly. In our random draw bag here, we have all of our different item tokens here. You'll shuffle it up and then reveal four at a time and put them onto their appropriate locations. These have all of the different items that you're trying to steal and get some set collection points for. Just put them all in the bag like so and you're ready to populate the board. Next, we have all the score pads here, just one large pad, as well as a pencil in order to mark it. And lastly, we've got a laminated version for when these run out. Underneath the bag, we have the Syndicate of Scoundrels solo expansion. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can find this on Board Game Geek. This gives you a nice solitaire experience, not only to help learn the game, but give you a challenging puzzle. This has you playing the cards in the different areas on the back foot. And if you ever need to play a card and you can't resolve its actions, you lose automatically. Great solo mode. We've got the player aids for the game. Not only are they icon references, but they also are going to give you some scoring references for the different items, and you'll give one of these to each player. And our last component is the game board. I like the way that this sits in here because it's going to keep all of your cards that you leave in here nice and flush to the side. So when you're storing it, moving it, or transporting it, things are not going to move around because you've got this nice lip here that's created by this thick board. So we'll take that out and place it in the center of the table. And that's everything in Caper Europe. Let's go ahead and pack it up. First off, we start with that game board, all of your player aids, and then our solo rules, our score pads and a pencil, our metal coins in the bottom right, our location cards we're not using, drapes on top, all of our core and active location cards, your tokens you'll populate the board with in a silica gel packet, and our random draw bag for those item tokens. We'll place our rule book on top like so, and that is organizing Caper Europe. If you have any questions about what you see here, please let me know down in the comments below. How do you organize your copy of Caper Europe? Have you played the original Caper? What do you think of the changes in Europe? Did you get the Mastermind Edition? We'd love to hear what you think. But thank you so much for watching. Side Game Strong.